Gracias compañeros, aquí nos encontramos con el entrenador del Feyenoord, Brian Prisk. Brian, thank you uh, so much for your time to talk with us here in uh, TNT Sports Mexico. First game in this new competition, in this new format in the Champions League. What's your reaction? What do you think so far from, from this new format in the Champions League? I'm, I'm really looking forward. Um, I think first when I heard that the format was changing, I was a little bit skeptical because uh, I really like the group stages, uh, I like the games, uh, I like the whole competition. But uh, the more I thought about it and now when we, we are getting into that first, uh, first game, then I actually uh, look forward to it. I think it's, it's going to be an interesting um, format with all the games and against different opponents and one big group of, uh, of clubs and teams uh, competing for, uh, for top eight and for, for 24. Uh, I think it's going to be a really, really interesting Champions League uh, season with a lot of talks from especially you guys, of course, and, and a lot of uh, good games coming up all the way to the last game of, uh, of this first uh, eight, eight, eight rounds. And first game by Leverkusen, unbeaten in the German League last season. Big match uh, tomorrow night here in the stadium. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. We we know the qualities of Leverkusen. I think uh, the whole world watched them uh, last season and, and what they did in the Bundesliga was unbelievable. And at the same time competing in, in Europa League as well and, and just missed out on that last game in the, in the final. Um, quality players, uh, a good system, good structure in the game. So it's, it's going to be a big handful for us, uh, of course. Uh, we know that. Uh, but we're hoping uh, that, especially here at home at the Curb, that that we can uh, we can lift um, the performance of our players just a, a few percentage. Uh, then I'm also sure that we can we can compete with them and, and make it difficult for for Liverpool. And Xavi Alonso, their manager, what do you think of him uh, so far as a coach? I did. It's it's obvious. He uh, he's done fantastic with with Liverpool and brought them up from from uh, the bottom of, of the Bundesliga and into um, a Championship team. That just 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 gives you respect. So uh, high quality, uh, interesting. He has also uh, introduced a, a new system in uh, in Liverpool uh, at that time, and and they scored a lot of goals. They they won a lot of games. They have a good mentality. So so definitely, there's no doubt. Uh, big respect for for Xavi. Now I want to ask you about Santi Jimenez, who is our, our player from, from Mexico. How do you see him? What his best qualities? How proud of you to, to feel to have him in, in, in your team? I'm really happy. Uh, Santi is a, first of all, he's a good man. He uh, is very respectful. He's very uh, professional. He's working hard every day. He's coming early into the training ground. He's staying long for treatment, recovery, extra training. So he's really, really uh, professional. Uh, also a good teammate. He's trying to take care of the other boys as well. We have a, a, quite a few uh, South American players as well. And, and, and Santi's been here the longest for from those boys. So he's trying to take care of them as well. Uh, on the pitch, is, uh, you s hopefully see his qualities uh, as well. Home in, in Mexico, he's hardworking. He's, uh, he's got some good deep runs, making it difficult for the opponents. He's good in that 16, in, in that box, and, and scoring the goals both with the feet, but also uh, for from headers. So he's for sure one of our, our vital players. How bad do you want him to stay here uh, for a long time and for many years in the club? I think it's 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 a nice question, and I understand it. And obviously, as a coach, you you always work to, want to work with the with the best players for a long time. But uh, I also used to play football myself, so I know how the football world is. And and players, coaches have ambitions, and and I think that's also part of of football that is important. That these guys have a, an inner drive, an inner motivation to achieve bigger things than than maybe just here at Feyenoord. We obviously think we're a, a very very big club in in Europe. Uh, but we're also realistic and knows that there's some teams in the Premier League and Serie A that maybe uh, would have or, or would show interest in, in, in a player like Santiago and maybe he's dreaming of going to a bigger league. I think that's also part of football and, and part of it and, and I'm just happy to, to be part of his road to becoming an even better football player.